Hey Canucks fans, the Vancouver Canucks have been defeated by the Winnipeg Jets 5-1 to one at Rogers Arena. Let's talk about the goals and then we'll, I'll talk about what I liked, what I didn't like and one other thing. Okay, no goals in the first period and then Winnipeg went crazy in the second period. Mostly uh, helped by some very undisciplined, too many men penalties by the Canucks. In fact, two of them. And Winnipeg capitalizes on both of those. The first one is Andrew Kopp scoring his first of four goals. That's right, four goals during the game. And this was a deflection off a Pionk shot from the blue line. Really no chance for Demko. A good deflection by by Kopp. Waist down and puts it past Demko. Actually, it, it changes direction coming from this side, from Demko's left, and passes him, passes Demko on his right side. So really no chance there. So that's Kopp from Pionk and Pierre-Luc Dubois at the 5.53 mark. one nothing Winnipeg. Then, after another too many men penalty, Andrew Kopp scores a second of the game. And this one was, uh, was a little... Um, it was off a rebound as opposed to deflection. Ehlers with the original shot and goes off of Demko. And then Kopp is there in the slot to put it past Demko. So that's Kopp from Ehlers and Dubois. So that's Dubois' second point of the night, second assist. That's Kopp's second goal. And that's at the 10.50 mark. So halfway through the second, and the Canucks are already down to nothing. Then, with less than two minutes remaining in the second period, Shifley scores. And this, this is probably the one play where, out of all the goals that I really didn't like. And it was because uh, Myers was stuck out there for um, a two-and-a-half, three-minute shift. The putt comes back in our zone. Uh, and, and Hamnick, instead of holding the puck behind the net and letting Myers switch, instead he comes out from behind the net, passes it to Myers. Myers is exhausted. He bobbles the puck, and now the Jets are on the attack. And it was Lowry who who takes the puck behind the net, centers it to uh, sorry Stastny who takes it behind the net, centers it to Wheeler. Wheeler gets a good shot off, and then it kind of sits uh, on Demko's left, um, and Hamnick's trying to cover cover Wheeler Myers is exhausted literally just bending over in the crease not doing anything and it was an easy easy tap in for Shifley Horvat Besser Hoglander trying to get into play it just was not a good look on the Canucks all five of them in the kind of around the slot sort of sort of thing so Mark Shifley from Wheeler and Stastny 18-13 in or more easier to figure out 147 left so after two periods it was 3 nothing Winnipeg then uh, the Canucks um, and Winnipeg played pretty even. Canucks pushing, hitting a couple posts and crossbars. But it was Andrew Kopp getting his hat trick in an empty into an empty net with uh, four minutes left at the 15-50 mark. Kopp from his own end into the empty net for nothing. And you think that's it for the scoring. But there are actually two more goals after that. Two minutes later, Kopp scores his fourth of the game. This one, Demko did not play well. Um, let's uh, a soft rebound from Appleton out into the crease, into the slot, I should say. And then Kopp puts it past Demko. And uh, Kopp, yeah, four goals. And then I, I think Winnipeg uh, runs that save on contest or Safeway contest. So someone in Winnipeg won $100,000, which is really good for them. And then, so that's Kopp from Appleton Lowry with 226 left. And then Hoglander breaks the shutout. It was a point shot. Um, and I think uh, Besser tipped it. Horvat got a stick on it as well. And then Hoglander bangs the puck past Hellebuck. Spoiling Connor Hellebuck's uh, bid for consecutive shutouts, making me a bit happy because I did not dress Hellebuck again tonight in my fantasy pool. And then Hoglander, so that's Hoglander from Horvat and Besser with a minute 25 left. Okay, so six goals to talk about. Unfortunately, five of them were by the Winnipeg Jets. What did I like? Wow, uh, the list is pretty short here. I like the fact that the Canucks actually had a pretty good second period. They had 20 shots on goal in the second period. And I believe that was their highest total of the season. So I did like um, I did like that af- effort, that the 20 shots on goal in the second, and that they had 39 shots overall on Hallebuck. Uh, Hallebuck was the Demko tonight. He made 38 of 39 saves. And um, despite the score, the Canucks weren't outplayed from a 5-1 to one standpoint because they outshot the Jets. Uh, and I thought the Canucks did pretty well um, at even strength, but then they were bad, which I'll get to. They're bad on their power play and they're bad on their penalty kill. Those two bonehead penalties, one empty netter. So uh, you know, it, I think the score, 
I don't, I wouldn't say it flattered Winnipeg because Winnipeg deserved to win, but I'd say the game wasn't as lopsided as the score may indicate. Let's put it that way. So I like the Canucks' effort truly. I like their shots on goal, and I like Jimmy Vc's play. Um, he was really noticeable. He's the one guy whose name I heard a lot. Played 19 minutes, 43 seconds, no uh, points, but he did have five shots on goal, which led the team. And I thought he was quite noticeable. Five shots ago and three hits, including a, a strong one behind the net um, once. So I thought Jimmy VC was good. I would love to see him get more points, but I think he's played actually quite well um, since he's come over to the Canucks. Okay, what I didn't like, where do you want to start? Let's start with special teams. Um, we Woodpeg went two for three on the power play, and we went 0 for two on ours. So that simply isn't good enough, especially in a very important must-win game. So I did not like that, obviously. Uh, I didn't like some of our our, our discipline, uh, taking too, too many men penalties. The first one, for some, uh, Myers came on a little too early while Hamnick was still on. So the, there was already going to be a too many men call. And then Hamnick gets to the bench and then actually goes back into the play. Maybe the coaching staff told him to go and, 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 and get a whistle as soon as he could. But it's quite comical. The Canucks were playing with six players, six skaters, seven players when you count Demko on the ice for about five to seven seconds. So I did not like the discipline. And then uh, McCune coming on for Vertanen too early. And those, boom, game over already. The, the Winnipeg scores on their two power play goals, on their two power plays, I should say. So did not like the Canucks' lack of discipline, especially when it came to, um, those are simple, simple, uh, rudimentary, elementary, common sense plays, is, is not to take too many men penalties. Uh, didn't like Myers' effort. Yes, he played. He played the most minutes, twenty-four, almost twenty-five minutes. He was a minus two, but he just looked. Uh, uh, it's not his fault completely. Defense is a team game, but I didn't think um, that he. You know, there's at least two or three times where he he was caught for two and a half, three minute shifts, and at least one of them cost the team. I didn't think Hamnick, although Hamnick was a um, even strength. I didn't think Hamnick had a strong game either. I'm not going to blame Demko for this one. Um, Demko's helped win us so many games on his own accord. So I think those are the things that I, I dislike the most. I disliked uh, uh, the our special teams. And related to that, I, I didn't like our lack of discipline. And I thought that Myers had a pretty tough night as well. One other thing. Well, uh, the Canucks have a week off, which is good. But now, remember uh, before this home Santa said I started, I said they could lose six games. Well, now they can only lose four games. So I don't know how the Canucks are going to go 15 and four over their final 19, but that's what they're going to have to do to make the playoffs. So it's not uh, not very promising, but they have a week now. In that week, they get two days off, then a practice, then two days off, then a practice. So four of the next six days, the Canucks will will uh, take a break. We'll have true days off and it's uh, well-deserved by the team, not from a standpoint of wins, well-deserved, but certainly they've been going at it pretty full bore since the start of the season. So it'll be good for them to get some rest, get Pedersen healed up and, and go for a last uh, uh, run at a playoff spot as soon as they come back. But for now, um, let's let them enjoy their rest. Uh, I'm not down on the team from a standpoint of uh, I'm not upset with them. I think they, they had a really good effort today. They just uh, simply don't have the firepower and you need more than one goal even when Thatcher Jemko, especially when Thatcher Jemko isn't saving completely everything and I'm certainly not blaming him but you need more than one goal anyway. So Canucks fans, there we go. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't like. Tell me one other thing and I'll get ready for my live stream uh, going live in about five or ten minutes. So stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Have a great night. God bless and go Canucks go.